Uh, hey guys, uh, in this video I just want to show how um, I have set up a private uh, client page in WordPress. So the requirement is to uh, have some content, uh, whether it is posts or pages, uh, to be restricted to uh, clients. So when somebody comes to a page like this, uh, it will show a custom message saying that, you know, uh, since you are not logged in, you can't see this content. So click on a link here and uh, uh, log in and then you will be able to see this content. So I'm going to first show how this works and then uh, explain how I set this up. So, uh, so once the client comes here, they will see that, you know, see this can be a client or a specific group of users. So in this example, I'm just uh, uh, taking the case of a client. So once they come to this page, they will see that uh, they are not logged in and so they can't see this content. So they, they click on owner login and And uh, it will then show a the login form in a light box. So once the client logs in, they enter their uh, username, they enter their password, and they click on sign in. Uh, they will then see the page. So in this case, uh, John Doe is the one of a test users in the having the role of client. So once this test user logs in, uh, they will then see the content. Okay, and so the way I have uh, done this, I have um, okay, let me go to the dashboard. Okay, so the first thing that I've done is I've installed a members plugin by Justin Tadlock. It's a free plugin. Uh, after installing the plugin, uh, I went to the plugins settings at settings members. And I have uh, just added one new line into this uh, default message which will show up uh, when the user is not logged in. So in order to customize this message, we can do so here at uh, settings and members. After that, I went to users and add new role. And for the role name, I have entered a client in small uh, letter C and the role label I've entered as a client with a capital C. And the role capabilities, the default option is when you are adding a new role is read so I just let it uh, uh, be selected and I did not select any other options over here and I just clicked on add role after that I went to add new to create a new user and uh, I've created a new user with uh, the a test username for the client role and for the role here I've selected client okay and then I have installed another plugin called uh, quick login so this is to show the login box uh, login form in a light box so it is called FT quick login so after you uh, activate this plugin you can go to settings and upload or give a URL of your logo so I just went to uh, media and then add new and then updated the, up, uploaded the uh, logo of the website. So this logo and I have uh, disabled this uh, top bar. Uh, it is kind of distracting and uh, what it is is that it uh, puts one horizontal bar at the top just like the WordPress admin bar 
and it will keep showing the uh, latest five posts so that is not required in this case so just I have disabled that and I have chosen color scheme as dark uh, the default color scheme is light uh, which I didn't like so I went with dark um, and so the next thing is to ensure that when uh, the user clicks on this owner login menu item the uh, login form appears in the light box so the way to do that is to go to appearance menus and edit that menu item and add a uh, let me show you so for the URL I just kept hash and for the link relationship we need to enter this fql hyphen login so by default this uh, link relationship uh, field will not appear so you gotta go to screen options and tick this link relationship after which uh, this field will be available in which you, need go, you got to type fql hyphen login and uh, so that's it so when uh, when this link is clicked, when this menu item is clicked, it shows the uh, login box, login form in the light box. And we have manually added a new user and selected the role as client. So once that user logs in here, he signs in here. Um, oh, uh, one more thing. So. Uh, for the content that we want to be uh, restricted only to a specific role in this case client we have to when editing that page or creating that page uh, we come down to this content permissions metabox which is made available uh, thanks to the member plugin and then we have to select this client uh, we have to tick this client so only those who only those users who have uh, this client role assigned to them will be able to see the content apart from uh, admins of course and if you would like to um, I guess this is the message which we can actually show up here in case we want to override the default uh, error message okay and uh, in my case since I'm using iThemes builder uh, I have created a new layout called client uh, so that uh, the page title automatically shows up in a HTML module like this which is automatically styled uh, via CSS and with this uh, wavy background so I've selected uh, that layout for this page so when the when the user comes here he clicks on the menu item he gets this uh, light box uh, they enter the username and password <coughs> and then a members plugin will then immediately you know show them uh, launch them take them to this page let me show it to you So that's it.